Ghana against Germany. I'm Peter Drury and joining me here, our expert Jim Beglin. Thanks Peter, hello everybody. Uh, ready to see what unfolds in this one now. And we're underway. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? Um, Matt Hummels deserves a mention. He's earned many plaudits through his controlled, aggressive approach and discipline. He'll pick your pocket as opposed to going right through you. And it's a style, I think, that many young aspiring defenders should have a look at. Yeah, the scourge of so many strikers. Tries to stroke it through. They've managed to get it away. Mario Gomez. Goes wide. Pumps it upfield. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Out to the left it goes. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? Demanding a quick ball here. Mesut Ozil. Tony Kroos. Mesut Ozil. And it's Draxler. Good stop. That wasn't easy. Oh, much more than a, than a routine save for me. And, and yet, he just coped with, with room to spare. Plays it into the channel. Now here's the through ball. Muller. Mesut Ozil. Muller. Looks like a good ball through. Clears it out of harm's way. There's the whistle for half-time. Would you review the first half? Well, the manager's surely got to look for one or two creative changes now. They need some service up front. Interesting half, just missing goals, so don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Nil-nil. Nil-nil then, and we're back on the way. Tries a through ball. Looks to slip it through. Mario Gomez sticks in a foot to win it back. Now the pass. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Well, he simply failed to just put a little more oomph behind that. Germany look as though they're about to make a change. Mesut Ozil. Quarter of an hour into the second half. Very few chances to talk of, Jim. Defence is, it seems, on top here. Yeah, I think it's a scoreline in keeping with what we've seen up to this point. Combined attempts at goal aren't high in numbers, and we could do with something to spark this contest into life. This defence is, is wary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight? Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get a whole lot busier. Aimed long and direct. And it's Podolski. Podolski 
Passes it through. He's made sure that that won't get through. Mesut Ozil. Good run. Where to from here? Tries to get it forward quickly. And out to safety. Ghana may think they're going about this in the right way, but not if a series of passes is leading to no end product. They have to add the incision. Podolski beats the offside trap. Heads it! Superb goal! And the chances of winning a game that may have gotten away from you are always greater with characters like this player. A strong personality that has more than likely secured another big win. Oh, the cross was inch perfect and the header unerring. Oh, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle, but that was beautifully met, it really was. There is some activity down on the touchline, it seems there's going to be a change. Germany take what looks to be a decisive lead. Well, look, Peter, I feel I've got to stress that there's still time for another, so we can't be too presumptuous yet. Mustafi. Paul shows there will be three extra minutes. And that's it. One goal settled it, a tense and exciting game that just got away. Your reflections then, Jim? Well, I think, Peter, there's a, a pretty simple explanation as to this performance and scoreline. Uh, impotence, cure that and they'll give themselves a chance of winning something.